Hello everyone, my name is Amit Gag. In this video, I will talk about like for working professionals. So they also have dream to become IAS. Yes, you can do that. And many people like here with their job have cracked this UPSC exam in one year, two year or three year. But it is not like one year preparation. Okay, so it required two year. So you can plan your preparation in such a manner with your job so that you can crack this UPSC exam and with good ranking. Since you are working professional in interview, you have like edge over there because UPSC people, they want the people, those who are already engaged in some activities. Okay. So now here in this video, we will talk about like how to prepare for UPSC with job. Now point here is, the problem by working professional like less time to study office workload and sometimes they have stress because of the office work or other thing but still what i suggest you like we will see in this on weekdays you just try to get five to six hour on daily basis okay and what i suggest you like if you are driving your own so then you can share with someone so while tra traveling while driving or you can take metro or public transport where during the traveling time you can read your newspaper you can read your current affair you can utilize that time and in the office also don't be proactive that you take participation in each and every activity in the office no so what you do you can cover your newspaper during the office time otherwise like maybe your colleague will say bhai saab to upsc ki taiyari kar raha hai aur ye ho jana hai select and your colleague might not be that friendly with you to aapke boss tak baat na jaye iske liye just you can cover your newspaper or other part during office timing okay and don't be proactive during office hours and try to still one or two hour in your office timing if you can that will be really big thing for you and other than that in morning you can have three four hour of studies just wake up around at 6 o'clock or 5 o'clock and that 3 hour you will have 100% concentration and you can have double efficiency at that time and after your office hours also you have to manage 2 to 3 hours around 3 hours so here this is the idea now next is like make timetable day time 5 to 6 hour collect sources read syllabus properly and previous year questions so that you will maintain the direction what is required what to follow some student they ask me sir how we can do your c set classes because we are the working professional here so for you people especially like here we are starting our batch on 11 september and we kept timing at 7 pm to 9 pm okay because of this online mode so that's why like you have advantage to attend live classes and for other batches also for geography also later on we will have one or two batch where like for working professional it will be good timing that 7 to 9 you can attend that live classes now here next is you do SWOT analysis because since you have less time so what you have to do you have to utilize each and every minute very effectively so what you can do you do SWOT analysis like strength weakness opportunity threat so you just see your strength your weakness what type of opportunity in term of like time you have and what type of threat with your job you can face and then you make analysis like here what you have to do monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday hopefully like saturday sunday off for you so daily five to six five to six hour you can manage whereas saturday and sunday you have to manage 14 14 hours where you can cover your backlog if only Sunday is free, then 14 hours in Sunday. Don't take any off. Like you feel I'm tired from my office job. Saturday, Sunday, chalo chutti lete hai padhai se. You cannot afford to do that. Because your dream is very big. You want to become IAS. So just give one or two years of your life. After that, you have wonderful life with you. Where you have off on Saturday, Sunday also. Where you have Bharat Darshan. Bas, us time tak aap dhyan rakho. Don't take any of Saturday, Sunday are the days where you can make centuries. So, you can make centuries. Now, here cover four core topics like geography, history, polity, economics. Then work on the other area where current affairs is important. Okay. 
Now next is current affair. Read newspaper and monthly magazine. So current affair like newspaper. So if you are comfortable with Hindu newspaper, you read that. And plus monthly magazine. So don't read multiple newspaper. So the rest of the news you can cover from your monthly magazine. But be regular. Give 30% time to prepare current affair. Like daily one or two hours you have to give for sure. Because now here this UPC exam either it is pre mains interview it is more or less current affair oriented static area is important but current affair is also very very important here and I tell you one thing you have one added advantage so what you do don't only read try to retain in the very first go because you have less time so you utilize each and every minute and read with the intention that you have you are you have to retain each and everything and that is required and that is very very important actually for this exam morning three hours like gs study 30 minute revision you can do so morning time you can utilize for your gs uh, newspaper during office break okay so in office try to cover your newspaper because there will not be any objection if you read newspaper in your office time if you read Lakshmikant, maybe your colleague and your boss is friendly with Lakshmikant or not? I don't know. By Lakshmikant se kya pata? Unko allergy na ho jaye. So newspaper is okay. So you can read newspaper. That is fine. Next is after office hour, two to three hours. Try to cover like other areas. And if you have any class, you can attend that and current affair. You can do that. Now here question practice. Topic wise, like you read fundamental right, you practice on question on fundamental right, then subject wise, entire like polity, you do 100 questions and then full length test. This is the idea. And even we follow the same approach in our smart self study plan. Daily basis, we give topic, we, we give previous year question and MCQs on that topic. And once you complete that subject, we give 100 questions on that. You have to follow the same thing. And here, Full length tests are also very very important to judge yourself like in full length tests where you stand. Because sometimes I have seen students subject wise they are getting 110 plus but in full length tests they get 80 marks. And daily basis I get messages from the student sir full length test we are getting less mark how to manage. Then I ask them whether you are comfortable in your static area are you getting 90% plus in your static area they say no. Static area is very very important don't ignore that don't ignore that. And try to cover in such a manner that like here any question from Lakshmikant you get correct answer. Any question from geography mapping correct answer. So that is required. Okay. So here only one thing like don't take any O for next two years. And weekdays 5 to 6 hours and on the holidays and on the off days. Aapko mein agar bataun, see here if you are having 5 days working. So 52 week into 2, 104 holidays you have as such. Second is around 20 to 25 holidays like 15th August, 26th January, Raksha Bandhan, restricted holidays and all. 10 you can manage and some you can take with medical leave just before your exam. So you have around 130 to 140 days where you can study 13 to 14 hours. And on the weekdays, at least read for 5 hours per day if your dream is this. But if you are happy with your current job, but if your dream is to become IAS, thoda to pain uthana padega. Thoda sa pain uthana padega. Weekdays 5 to 6 hours and on the weekend where you have off Saturday, Sunday, 13, 14 hours. Otherwise, you will not able to manage. Okay. Thank you very much.